Welcome back to Aim Small, it's Gert. Um, yes, this is take two, but not with the shooting, um, with the intro, because ay, 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 I forgot to put the mic into the right slot. So I've got zero sound on my first intro. And I only realized that when I got to editing. So here we go again. What are we doing today? We are testing silences, but not for sound. We're testing silences for accuracy and speed. So I did an AI search and the AI came back and said, yes, a silencer does or has the ability to increase the speed by between 10 and 60 feet per second, but it doesn't say with what gun and what velocity. So I had to test the theory for myself and to test accuracy because I've got a lot of folks that says a silencer decreases accuracy. So we're gonna try and bust that myth today to have a look at accuracy as well as speed so stay with me i've got four silences for today i've got the standard virach i've got the short little knobby that one's got no fins in it's just a straight tube then i've got the numisa 3d printed silencer and i've got a hugget all the way from england so let's go into this what i'm going to do is i'm going to shoot four shots on the first top target just to get my point of impact correct because the silences with different weights on the barrel will have a point of impact shift and then I'm going to shoot two five shot groups and hope and pray that I shoot accurately enough. I'm not a bench rest shooter, neither has these pellets been weighed or uh, measured or anything like that. This is out of the tin like most shooters will do out in the field. All I want to see is, is there a difference in speed? So I'm going to take the average speed over 14 shots per silencer, put that up for you guys on the screen and then quick, do a quick analysis about accuracy. Did this make a difference, yes or no? All right, so without further ado, let's jump into the video. Um, I hope the sound is gonna be great. I haven't checked yet because I haven't downloaded the GoPro sound yet, but in general, the GoPro sound is to say the least. So let's hope and pray the sound is great. <laughs> we need a bit of luck. So many buttons to push, so little time, this is three cameras running, a chronograph, and me. All right, HW100, let's go for it. Straight off the bat, great grouping, 700 feet per second. Let's try my utmost best to shoot two great groupings. There is a light breeze in front, pushing from left to right. So I do expect one or two to be affected by the wind. I'm going to try and shoot in between the wind gusts. Sure, the wind, I can blame the wind for one or two. Right, let me quickly put on the little stubby and let's try again. Before I go on to the stubby, let's quickly have a look at the results on speed. 14 shots, low 693, standard deviation 4.38, that's quite good. Average BC, average speed 700.7. Alright, stubby is on. New magazine. I do expect a point of impact shift because of the weight on the barrel and a lot more noise. This stubby is not quiet. Phew, how's that for an initial grouping? Oh my greatness. Okay, I'm gonna adjust a half a mil dot lower for that slight climb in point of impact. Uh. That initial grouping gave me a lot of hope um, and then I don't know what happened on the second grouping. Third grouping, four of them touching each other, one slightly above, that one could have been the wind. Time to swap silences again. Right, average speed 704, spread 12.2, that's a little bit higher. Nah, that's not bad. Standard deviation 3.24. Happy with that. Next up, the Numisa silencer. Okay, 
Oh, wow for accuracy. Oh my greatness. All right, I'm gonna allow a little bit. That's about on the dot a half a mil dot for point of impact shift. Let's see if I can get this right. Shoo, almost no wind with those five shots. Brilliant, brilliant accuracy. Oh, don't happen. Don't know what happened with that last shot. Jeez, that was weird. Yeah, it's still fine. Let's quickly have a look at that. Standard deviation slightly up, six point average speed lower, 692. Hmm, that is very, very interesting. A lot bigger spread. These pallets aren't weighed, so don't blame me for one or two foot per second difference. Time for the last one. All right, time for the Hugget. This is a very nice streamed lined silencer. Let's see what it does. Not conference building, but yeah, let's try again. Oh, that last one, I didn't aim for the red target. That must have been a horrible pallet or something else went horribly wrong there. Ah, yo, that was shaping up to be one of the best. Really, that looked impressive. Let's quickly have a look at the speeds. Average 692. Standard deviation 4.8. That's quite interesting. I'm seeing a definite difference in speed. Let's just check that theory. Um, let me put the Virox silencer back on and see if it's the gun shooting slower or, or if it is the silencer. Okay, only 10 shots in this magazine. Going to aim for the bottom of the two. Back to 699.5. There is a definite increase in speed with the Virox silencer versus the other silencers. Let me draw up a spreadsheet to compare and go and measure what happened there in the front. In conclusion, a silencer does not influence accuracy. Not what I could see. But yes, the silencer does have a difference in speed. Huh? <laughs> Never too old to learn. Look at this platinum. Never too old to learn. Thank you for watching. Um, let's go ahead. Let's go mad. Let's go shoot. That's all, folks.